Hello, everybody. This is the Almost Daily Devotion for Saturday, May the 9th. Um, hope you're doing well today. One of the joys that we that I have walking through the UVA grounds is hearing the tolling of the chapel bells as they, they mark the hour. Um, it's such a it's a wonderful sound. And that the bells are both resonant but they're reassuring because they're a reminder that the world is still ordered, even though uh, many of our normal place markers have been suspended. There's a beautiful passage in Willa Cather's uh, a book called Shadows on the Rock. Um, it's set in late 17th century Quebec, uh, and um, in it, a girl named Cecile, uh, who lives with her apothecary father, her, her mother has died, they, um, she's in bed, and they, they live in the shower of a church bell tower. Let me read the passage to you. Cecile did not always waken at the first bell, which rang in the coldest hour of the night. But when she did, she felt a peculiar sense of security, as if there must be powerful protection for Quebec in such steadfastness. And the new day, which was yet darkness, was beginning as it should. The punctual bell and the stern old bishop who rang it began an orderly procession of activities and held life together on the rock, though the winds lashed it and the billows of snow drove over it. Beautiful passage. Now the scripture in Hebrews 1-3 tells us that Jesus is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature and he upholds the universe by his power. <laughs> and that tells us, that scripture, that even when the visible place markers are on temporary leave, um, the, the, the order to which these place markers point, they're just signs, well, they're firmly fixed and they're upheld in the hand of God in a firm way. And you are too. So let me say a prayer. This is a prayer actually from evening prayer. Let us pray. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth bless you and worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you. Men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I will see you tomorrow uh, for church. I'll be the preacher. Uh, tomorrow, Christy will be doing the prayers. So I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you're okay.